We the real Hebrew Israelites, Shalom. We the real Hebrew Israelites coming to you week in, week out, prophesying and returning the Messiah in the heavenly sun. All praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rechachodash, double honors to the apostles out in New York, Green Millstone, GMS. I just saw Akira, the planet lifted up the day, but Yahweh, or Yahweh Shai, in truth and sincerity. Um, no further ado, this is Brother Ryan. And it's going to be a very quick video. This is an introduction of a new series I'm experimenting with through the Spirit, as long as the Lord let me do it. Um, GMS vignette, seen as the uh, right here on the screen vignette, a brief, evocative description, account, or episode, a classic vignette of NBC Life, a small in illustration or portrait pho photograph which fades into a background without a definite border. All right, those are the definitions of the word vignette, but it's a brief, evocative description or account or an episode. So I want to give a vignette off of one event and show four scriptures just to show the power of the scriptures in certain events that happen, certain things. And a vignette just meant a, a brief, evocative description and bounce in, bounce out. So now that I said that and introducing that to the spirit, um, I was watching this Instagram. I'll pull it up. Uh, yep, here we go. And we'll watch it and just get, you know, four scriptures to show you the power of the Lord and the, and the power of the scriptures and prophecies come to life in our face as we know it. So you saw through the spirit there was a uh, was a um a vessel a u.s vessel with a helicopter flying around the region uh in the and the area of the iranian you know uh warship and the, he said the the plane was flying too close and doing their thing he, america of course always try to flip the script oh we're just doing what international waters we can do in the patterns on international law no motherfucker he's doing some provocative shit i'm sitting in my boats and uh what's up and he's and they said we can uh, we dip it all right now america's supposed to be the superpower right all right they're supposed to be the superpower they're supposed to be the bullies on the block how are they getting um escorted the fuck up out of, of that that area it's because the most high is taking it down the most high is changing um, the guards, man. Esau is on his way out. So I got four, maybe five quick, real quick precepts and we're out of here. It's just a vignette. vignette. This shows the scriptures that I'm about to, the prophecies correct that Esau is losing his 
stronghold over the international community. He's losing his stronghold amongst his own community. Scripture says, um, nation divided itself, six stand, cannot stand. And he's losing his toehold over the captivity of the Israelites. So the Most High is taking him down in all fronts, amongst himself, amongst the heathen, and amongst the Israelites. So with no further ado, I'm going to hit four quick scriptures, and we're going to dip. This is the first one. This is Isaiah 14 and 10. Let me go into it. Just maybe get a little bit of meat off that bone. Um, all that all they shall speak against all they shall speak and say unto thee, Art thou become as weak as we? Art thou become like unto us? Jumping up a little bit. Um, verse 4. That thou shalt take up this proverb against the king of Babylon and say, How hath the oppressor ceased? The golden city ceased. The Lord said America is going down. So the evidence will be that his power over the other nations. Jimmy, go down a little bit. It's verse 6. Verse no 5. The Lord hath broken the staff of the wicked and the scepter of the rulers. He who smote the people in wrath in a continual stroke. He that ruled the nations in anger is persecuted and unhindered. So the one who used to beat everybody, a beat bully on a block. All right. The Lord said there's going to be a coming time where he's not going to be able to do that anymore like verse 10 said again all they that speak and say all they shall speak and say unto thee art thou become weak as we art thou become like unto us that pomp that america does is brought down into the grave and the noise of thy vows the worm is spread unto thee and the worms cover thee all right we can go way into more on that but this is not that so that's one aspect here the lord is saying are esau's be starting to become weak all right, um, this is Job 3 and 10. Beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say, I'm strong. Just, just like Joel 3 and 10. Beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears and let the weak say, I'm strong. Now you got some countries like South Korea, uh, North Korea, here's Iran. All, all, all these other different countries are standing up against so called America now and saying, hey, we got missiles, we got tanks, we got ships. And we'll we'll sink your shit, and we don't give a fuck. Do something, all right. And back in the day, they would have been bum blasted, obliterated, and all sunk, and there would have been no discussion whatsoever. Okay. Um, so now America's losing that power, in the, and not only in the regions, but across the nations and across the planet. All right. Two more. Uh, let's see, maybe two or three more. Let's see. Uh, oh yeah, this is right here. The Lord says this is how Esau has looked accord, according to the world. Um, oh, greatly Esau. I've been <laughs> so I, I said Esau and I wrote what I was thinking and versus what I was trying to type in. This is Obadiah 1 and 2. Behold, I have made thee small among the heathen. Thou art greatly despised. The Lord says uh, Esau Edom is greatly despised amongst the heathen. All right. Verse 1, the vision of Obadiah, thus saith the Lord God concerning Edom, the so-called white men. We have heard the rumor from the Lord, and an ambassador is sent among the heathen. Arise ye and let us rise up against her in battle. So now the other heathen nations are ready to fight you now. All right, just like the scripture says in the book of Revelations, the beast shall hate the whore. Even your own allies are going to come and put their hands on you. <laughs> Inside joke. Um, behold, I have made thee small against among the heathen thou art greatly despised so Esau Edom is greatly despised why because they have surely corrupted everything took in everything down um, and came against all the nations and oppressed all the nations was watching a little Instagram thing and didn't know that Hindu is not actually Hindu that's Esau's uh, title and name that they gave them and that's why they a lot of East Indians they don't call themselves Hindu and I saw the video I said wow I didn't know that Hindu I was like the Hindu was Hindu no that's Esau calling them that just like Esau calls us different um, by words and by he's done did that to everybody on the nation all right um, this is a uh, like yeah uh, Jeremiah 49 and 7 concerning Edom thus saith the Lord of hosts is wisdom no more in Teman is his is counsel perished from the prudent is their wisdom vanished and it's yes the most high has put a wrinkle in all their plans and in the uh, fullness of his sufficiency he's going to be in straits the Lord says he's going to disappoint their enterprise so the Lord is taking it away and it's happening right in front of our face all right and the last one uh getting this getting the apocrypha here and the reason why the Lord is doing this 
and have all these other nations start to stand up and come against them not only the most high the hopeful righteous elect but now all the nations all right unrighteous deal I should pull it up Ecclesiastes 10 and 8 because of unrighteous dealings injuries and riches gotten by deceit the kingdom is translated from one people to another now Esau is losing his power in the sight of the um, the whole planet all right and the Mosiah is starting to take him down these scriptures are activated um, this is the first and and you know may, may the Lord bless this to be a good series of uh, little vignettes of just a simple video with simple three four five something like that precepts to show the the validity of the scriptures and the prophecies and we're almost out of here hopefully this has been edifying to the spirit and party how about you about shimmer kakadash all praise and glory to you how about you shy about shimmer kakadash double answer apostles and elders and um shalom to the hopeful rice you like shalom kwam yashrala